What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, what could it be that's hiding in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is this a model kit or what's in here for me? What's in the box? What's in the box? How hard is it to put together? Is it made of leather? Hey, what's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Today's episode of What's in the Box was filmed right here at Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Hello once again, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Here we are standing in front of our great big monster model kit rack and today we're going to look at what's in the box with a oldie, but a goodie, Monogram's Mummy Luminator Kit from Monogram. Now originally this was a Aurora model kit back in the 1960s when the monster craze went big. But Monogram ended up buying the molds for these models. And in 1991 they released them in this glow plastic. It's not glow in the dark, it actually glows under a black light. So let's open up the box on one of these and see what the mummy looks like. Here we have our mummy. Now let's open this thing up and have a look. Now I've got to tell you guys something to be honest. This particular one that I'm going to open, it's actually a High River Flood from 2013 Rescue. The uh, original box was lost because it went underwater and I cleaned up the kit and put it in this Ziploc bag. So when you actually get one of these you will not find it in a Ziploc. It'll be an actual factory seal bag. However, the model is still the same. And there it is. We'll take a look in a minute. Also in the box is an old offer from 1991 saying you can get a free model kit by doing their survey. Here's a little promotional deal for to get your black light. And then of course we have our, our instructions here. So we'll look at the instructions. Fairly simple, tells you how to put the legs together, what the phone number to phone. I don't know if you can phone that anymore. Somebody should try it and let me know. And there's our simplistic but detailed instructions on how the mummy goes together. These are nothing like the original Aurora instructions. There he is all at the end. But, you know, they suffice. Now, let's move our box here and look at the kit. Yeah, it looks pretty pink, doesn't it? <laughs> when you put this under a black light, it actually glows a nice red color. I don't know how scary that is. Okay. <laughs> So, here's the base. It's a little bit hard to see because it's translucent. Transparent, actually. There's the mummy's hand. The mummy's hand! That's actually a movie. Um, one of the bandages. These tend to snap off the parts. So when you open it, parts should all be in there. But, you know, it's just the brittle nature of the plastic. Funny, it's brittle on one hand, but if you need to scrape a seam line, it's near impossible. So you have to actually take your knife and cut it this way on the angle. Yeah, I don't know. Let's try a piece of paper behind this. I don't know if that helps to pick it up. Yeah, you can kind of make out the bandage details on the leg there. Yeah, you see what I mean by the pieces? That's a full parts tree. That's all the pieces that are left on it. But everything's in the bag. And there's one of the tombstones. The back of the mummy. It's quite a great kit. And there's one of the... One half of the stone. That I just dropped on the floor, but that's okay. Anyway. Yeah, that's... Oh yeah. <laughs> Sure, Trev. Just drop everything. Drop everything and get this model. Okay, let's find this head here. There's the back. There's the front. 
Okay, you guys can get one of these models. Check it out for yourself. Because I'm dropping everything on the ground. There's the mummy's face. Falling on my thumb. The mummy's face. Okay, see the nice detail? The bandage lines and everything. Now this is sort of a... Aurora didn't have the licensing agreement from Universal Studios to actually duplicate any of the actors. So what they did was they had pictures that they worked on with the sculpts of the actual the actual uh, actors. And they sort of blended in elements from each. I'm not sure on the mummy, but I've heard that the Frankenstein head is like... Uh, 45% Karloff and, you know, 2% Lugosi and all, they kind of amalgamated all the actors to make the image of what they wanted and still have it recognizable as the mummy or Frankenstein, whatever. But to the best of my, uh, you know, knowledge on silent, or, uh, silence, on Universal Studios monster films, this head is sort of the, um, Lon Chaney Jr. style mummy head as opposed to Karloff. Now we've got a special what's in the box treat for you because I actually had built one of these mummies before. Actually I have built three of them. So this one now the glow plastic looks a little funny at the bottom where are touching the paper. This is because this model in particular here, I'll just go around this side. This model in particular was on display at the Old High River. Um, the Old High River. The Old High River Monster Hobbies back in the day. And uh, it was actually in this box here, before I, I turned this into a Games Workshop box. It used to be divided into four squares. And it had my uh, four Luminators. Frankenstein, Dracula, the Mummy, and the Wolfman in there built like this so that people could see what was in the box when it got finished. Now when the High River Flood hit we um, had to move out in a big hurry and the box was basically put in my backyard with all the monsters still sitting in it and because it was outside it was exposed to the sun and the sun actually faded the plastic the colors kind of come back, but at one point this was clear. <laughs> and it also made this mummy in particular very, very brittle. Some of the bandages, like right here, it broke. And it this is like glass. Actually, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but... Oh, that was from the glue. It sort of crystallized, made it all cracky looking. Don't know if you can see that. So hard to look at a transparent thing with this camera. So that is the mummy as he's built straight out of the box, uh, black light sensitive. And uh, now I'm going to show you a painted one. And here is a painted version of the same kit. Now you can see the details on them. You can also see all my junk in the background too. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I suggest here to get rid of the orange or the yellow or the huh, the pink glow plastic is to paint one of these with black uh, flat black spray paint and then paint the rest of them like whatever colors you want. Now notice here I didn't mention about the snake but that's how I painted up my snake and I mean, look at the hieroglyphs on here. Nice. You can do a nice job with painting these models. You don't have to have them in the glow. And we'll just look at, see he's standing on one too on the base. I actually don't have him glued in. But you can see that slot there. And there's the little pink plastic on the bottom of his foot. Little blade goes into the slot. And you glue them on there. I kept them off because I was using them for uh, uh, photos with the uh, Monster Hobbies things. Yeah, I mean, here, zoom in on the mummy. 
Okay, come on. Let's see, there's the face detail. I actually got pearlescent paint in there underneath the dirty paint. It gives them kind of a shimmery look. We hope you have enjoyed this edition of What's in the Box with our Luminators Mummy Kit. And you can visit us in person at Unit 42B, 11th Avenue Southeast in downtown High River, Alberta. Actually, we're out of downtown. You can also visit us on our Facebook page, Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada, and on our website, www.monster-hobbies.com, as well as you can leave a phone num message, a phone message with us at 403-652-5019. And thanks very much for watching this video. We hope to see you on our next edition of What's in the Box.